430 barrel moving through the Gulf of Mexico after making landfall in the Yucatan Peninsula as a Category 2 storm this morning. Yeah, just take a look at some of the damage it's leaving behind. Let's get right to first warning meteorologist Eric Burris, who's keeping an eye on the storm's track and intensity. Eric? Yeah, so down to tropical storm intensity. Winds are at 70 miles an hour, but the center of circulation is almost off the Yucatan Peninsula. And once it gets back out over the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico, we anticipate this to start restrengthening. It has definitely lost a lot of its oomph over the course of the last 24 hours time. We think though that uh, late Saturday into Sunday becomes a category one storm and then makes its way over to the Texas ish coastline. I say ish because the models are trying to figure out its path. So what we've done is we've taken the official forecast cone and we've put our future cast model on there and notice how our future cast is hanging out on the right side of the forecast cone. And I'm going to pause this 9 a.m. Sunday riding outside on the right side of the forecast cast cone and then eventually lifting up toward like Galveston Island by 2 a.m. on Monday. So the Hurricane Center may have to start making some tweaks based on some new model data. But at the end of the day, thankfully for us, this is not a threat for our friends in Texas, though. This may be something they very much have to watch for. Meanwhile, back here at home, our weekend is just looking sweltering. Let's take it county by county in just a couple minutes.